let's move kind of in a different area of relationships for a second. You've been with your wife for some time now. Long time, bro. <laughs> Not, you know, obviously, every day the sun ain't going to be shining. Of course not. Is there any advice you can give in terms of how to argue or conflict resolution? Because a lot of people don't think that you should be arguing. It's the end of the world if you do. Or yeah. when they engage in argue, they just go too far. Mm-hmm. So what can you, any advice you can give just in terms of Obviously, there's going to come times where there's going to be conflict. Here's some healthy ways to resolve Mm -hmm. and to argue in a way that it doesn't leave long-term damage on your partner. Man, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's important. I actually talk about it on my Instagram page a lot. Follow me on Instagram, Games at K-I-E-R-G-A-I-N-E-S. I talk about this a lot. I have this series on my IG called The Breakdown where I take popular TV shows, popular scenes that we all remember and I break them down from like a social and psychological context and, and take the deeper meaning out of it, help it relate to all of our lives. And I recently did one on the episode of Martin where Martin and Gina bought them trash Valentine's Day gifts for each other and they started arguing, man, it got worse. Then he said something about her daddy. He said, your daddy's so tight, you back into a wall and suck out a brick. You know what I'm saying? She said, "Well, I'm not your mama." And then she talked. He talked. She talked about that boy mama mustache, and it got bad. And that's what we call a need to win fighting style, where someone feels disrespected, so they disrespect, and then an increase in the problem that y'all arguing about has completely been buried underneath your bickering. And now it's not about resolving the issue; it's about a need to win. So my first piece of advice would be to, and I say this a million times, and I'm gonna say it until the day I die. Make the problem the problem and not the person. If the person is the problem, you you won't resolve the issue. That will be your enemy. If the problem is a problem, you have a teammate in solving the issue, which leads to number two, which would be uh, table it if you need to. Not every cake needs to be eaten in one bite. Like no one goes to Cheesecake Factory, gets the snickerdoodle cheesecake and swallows it like a Motrin. You know, man, you eat that joint bite for bite and arguments are the same way. There's this urgency we feel to, man, we got to squash this now. And that's because of anxiety. We want it to go away. We want the hurt to go away. We want the hurt, the, the pain to go away. But we're in a relationship with another human that's not connected to us through no type of umbilical cord or nothing. We don't transfer information that way. So it's not going to be that smooth. And then the frustration kicks in. So it's understanding. And that I give people this uh, tip, man. Record your arguments. Record your arguments. You'll be surprised when you look back how you come off. Wow. Mm. Yeah, you'll be surprised how you come. You're like, damn, I look like that. Damn, I said that to you for real. And then, you know, when you get an argument with your SO all the time, it, you didn't say that. Yes, I did. Hey, we recorded it. Let's run back the tape. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's, I think, I think those three tips will help a lot. But The fourth and biggest tip that just popped up in my brain is understand that conflict is healthy in a relationship. It's supposed to happen. There's no way you can always be in a state of, and if you are, I always wonder what is lying underneath? Because a mountain, just a mountain until lava come out the top of that joint. That's right. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) That's right. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.